yeah, it is Friday. It is Friday, oh yeah. So let's see, topic <clears throat> number 14. It's up for grabs. So yet another day of warm up. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. To see um, what's going to be created. Hey, Janae, how's it going? And I'm going to continue my rant of um, <laughs> not really rant, but uh, bra uh, reflection of industry workshop last day. Hey, Zelin, arms. Happy Friday, people. Happy Friday. It's a good, great, great day. It's a Friday, which means we we have that weekend in front of us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Um. I did, um, I went to a local, like, meeting, gathering, uh, yesterday, um, it was on the river, um, a, in a boathouse, kind of, a boat restaurant, boat bar, pro, pro, prom, prom bar, I would, I guess, uh, where they had, like, a VR uh, conference. Uh, and the, on the, this VR conference, um, I was sitting and doing a talk and doing some live paint painting demo. It was pretty good fun. Some cool VR stuff happening. <sighs> hey, Nereida. How's it going? So, yeah, I, today I'm a little bit tired because I had one, a, a couple of beers. But it was all in all good fun. Hey, Magshin, how's it going? Um... So, um, hey, Kilrothy, give me some topics. Uh, anything goes, and I'll I'll try to paint it today. We'll roll that roll that dice. Oh, hello, Atsuki. How's it going? I'm trying to find a pretty dice roller. But I'll settle for the Google one. So let's see. I was uh, in browser browser land. Uh, Iron Piggy, Mutant Fiber Wiper, Masked Vigilante, Executioner, Neon Witch. Oh. Hey, Rags. Sunbird. Tormod, good morning, man. Cyberpunk mech. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's the... Oh, wow, man. Thank you, uh, Georg, uh, for the third month in a row subscription. Mad respect, man. Mad respect. Georg, you are a star. All right, let's roll the dice. Roll it. Number six. Ooh, which is number six? Iron Piggy, number one. Mutant Fiber Viper, number two. Masked Vigilante, number three. Executioner, number four. Neon Witch, number five. Oms, Cyberpunk Mech. Oh. That's interesting. Cyberpunk Mech. I have not drawn one of those in ages. Cyberpunk mech by arms. Thank you for the challenge. Um, 
Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh shit! It's Sunbird, not Cyberpunk Mac. You are correct. I must have skipped Zealin. Sunbird by Zealin sixty four. That is correct, Amir. I am stand corrected. <laughs> hey, Milifin. Ah, oh, come on, arms. I will count again. I'll count with you. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five, six. She's number six for me. Um. Anyways, let's start the timer. I'm ru running with Sunbird as that is number six uh, on my screen. Sunbird, Sunbird, Sunbird. Uh, all right, I got a picture in my head. Start the timer. The timer is up. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you you agreed. You agreed. <laughs> All right, Tom's. That's awesome. That onion. What up, yo, Captain Bob's Red Clay Skull? Hey, hey, hey. What's up? Um. Uh, so, let me continue the the talk or the reflection of um, uh, latest. Um, industry workshops in London. Um, so the same with again that night um, or the day before, I, I wasn't drinking that much. I was just kind of hanging out in the venue, which was a cool idea that they have free beer in the venue. Um, <clears throat> so I just had a few beers there. And uh, then later on, um, just went home uh, to the hotel. I was... Uh, having the same walk with uh, uh, the like photographer of the workshop. She was staying in the same hotel as with all the other instructors and demo people. But uh, um, they always went out for more drinks. <laughs> like came home at five o'clock or something. But I, I felt like I, di I didn't want to be hungover again. So I just, you know, went to the hotel and crashed um, so in the morning I arrived uh, the the queue was more organized this time around like the breakfast queue and uh, there was a coffee line and there was a breakfast line so if you just wanted food you could have gone to the food which I did um, didn't have a hangover so you know like it was all good I, I smashed my face with some tasty breakfast and um, And uh, I went up because I was going to do a demo straight in the morning <coughs> um, at the same time as Evan uh, Amundsen uh, did his talk. I was demoing, <laughs> but again, my computer crashed day one, uh, the hard drive crashed, um, so I couldn't do a demo, which I was supposed to do. And the guy that I borrowed the PC from he was not nowhere to be found because he was probably out drinking because he had done his demo. So he was, you know, he was done. He, he, he did, had no need to, you know, stay uh, <laughs> collected, so to speak. So he wasn't there. So I was like, oh shit, I need to do my demo. There is no PC to borrow. Um, so, so what I did, um, Hey, the real Miralu. Good morning. So what I did was I just uh, whipped out my sketchbook 
and started sketching on traditional paper, um, which was which was cool. Um, and uh, the official photographer at some point later uh, put the camera on on my sketchbook and and plugged it into the TVs and uh, the, she was showing, you know, or my my paper was showing um, on the TV. Uh, because there was a lot of other people there, the demo artists that did it tr with traditional, um, traditional uh, media, uh, which was really cool. Uh, so I was doing my demo, uh, doing some sort of uh, lich. <laughs> I don't know what it was, just some random drawing. And um, at the same time as Evan, Evan, Evan talk was really cool. He was talking about. Uh, Lord of the Rings, or rather, ranting about Lord of the Rings. It wasn't so much a collected talk. If you ever heard Evan uh, Almonds Almondson talk, he is very, very energetic <laughs> and and animated when he's picking on movies and games that are not correct. He's a huge fantasy nerd. In that sense that he loves every little bit of it and knows everything by heart so if there is a makes mistake somewhere he will very uh, accurately point that out hey Eric Mu, how's it going uh, so it was fun listening to his talk <laughs> crystallers yeah um, Uh, anyways, and uh, at the same time, Nikolai Lokitsen did a Procreate demo. He usually is really, really good at it. He does some sick-ass magic. He, this time around, he said he didn't do too much painting, but he was going through new features in Procreate, like warp and, and things like that, which you know, didn't exist before. Hey, Arian, how's it going? Um, welcome, man. And then, um, <laughs> so Evan was talking and he was finished. Uh, and I was like, oh, yeah. Great. Like, now maybe someone will um, <laughs> pay attention to me. <laughs> you know, because the day before, when I was doing the demo, Mike Hill was talking. So obviously, no one was looking. Uh, and in the morning, obviously, no one was looking because Evan was talking. Everyone was listening to Evan. Um, and then uh, I was very hopeful, like, oh, maybe someone will come by now and, and, and talk. But no, guess who walked into the, in through the door? If not, Jama <laughs> Jurabaev. And he started talking on stage, on um, stage further away, and I was like, "Fun!" <laughs> everyone was at Jamas, literally, everyone and their cousin, more or less, uh, watching Jama do his magic with um, VR. He was showcasing like uh, the technique of. Um, you know, like the the strength of VR, so that you can position the camera very quickly, create very quick mock-ups to get what you need in so in sense of depth and positioning and so on. He was showing some really cool things, and obviously, <laughs> I I was there all by myself, and poor Henrik as well. Um, Yeah, and then everyone had lunch, and then I I missed uh, Oscar's uh, pantalets. I had no idea what he talked about, or Mike Picton. Uh, no real idea what he talked about either. Um, I wasn't listening really. I was throwing a an ear 
to uh, Oscar, I think. But at the same time, Sam Santala and Dave Neal and uh, Decadence Comics, uh, they were doing um, demos. And uh, Dave Neal is a good friend of mine. Um, so I was sitting next to him and watching him do his demo, which is which is really cool as always. If you don't know uh, Dave Neal, he's a uh, like a fantastic uh, like tune person. He paints really quirky creatures and animals and characters. He has a really fun style. Um, Hey, I would breakfast. How's it going? Dave Neal. This is how you spell his name. Ne no, it's not. That is how you spell his surname. Um, he has really cute style. So I, I, I was sitting there t talking to him and looking at him, problem solving and sketching. Really good fun. Um, and then. They swapped in talk uh, in instructors, and Paul uh, Chadason uh, went through Dave the Neil. Uh, uh, Paul Chad Chadason Chadason uh, did a like I said a step by step. Uh, he walked through the process of how he created his uh, massive scale images of spaceships stuff. Um, and if you don't know Paul Chadason, he I have to show on the stream. Uh, Paul Chadason. I'll show you guys because what he does with scale and sci-fi is crazy. You see, he walked through the process, his thinking process, why he chose to do the the decisions he did um, and like how he got to these conclusions how he broke down the images and so on it was really really fascinating to to hear and see and I was doing that at the same time uh, as uh, watching Paul uh, create his uh, demo and listening in on on uh, on uh, Paul no I mean Dave's demo and watching uh, Paul at the same time, listening to Paul uh, was really a nice, nice hangout time. Um, very inspirational and, and crazy to see uh, how thorough Paul was with choosing the lighting conditions and the shapes and so on. Yeah, the his, his amazing sense of scale. And um, at the other part was, um, I think Mike, no, Mike Picton, yeah, was still talking, um, but I wasn't uh, there. Uh, Simon Holmdahl, I wasn't listening in on, and Marcus Bonfiglioli, oh man, what's her name? I wasn't listening in on, um, I think I was somewhere else. Navina and Ricardo Robles did demo. Oh, and Louise uh, Guggenberger uh, and Iris Muddy were then up. Um, I think he was, I think that's the guy who, there was some throwing, like change of schedule, but one there was one guy who uh, works for um, Trickster, who talked through his uh, like work with Star Wars and uh, Transformers. Uh, he he did some some really cool, like he was talking about how the director wanted more and more destruction. Um, scale was for him like he was talking about that the director wanted them to concept up how um like a harbor was destroyed by by this 
uh, force, right? And they started. They, they did one concept, and he said, "Like, no, just not one boat. I mean, I need a lot of boats." So they thought, "Okay, let's do a lot of boats." And then they showed the director again, and he was like, "No, like, do the whole harbor. I want, I want fifty boats in the air." And um, and he they, he was kind of joking around and showing their solutions to it, and then there was the next concept and and it was some sort of airport and the director said no i just don't want one airship airplane in the like being flying i want a whole airport and this airport should be from like sudan hitting uh, america and then and uh, this director had all this crazy idea of scale and destruction that they had to uh, concept and, and, and solve visually it was really really funny to, to listen in on and that guy later on um, <laughs> all the boats exactly uh, that guy later on um, had a tech demo of VR that he had been doing f that he uh, had done for uh, Star Wars um, to kind of pitch them or sell them as the idea of, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the finer details, um, but uh, he had the demo there. You could just put it on, and and experience what he had uh, shown Star Wars. So the demo was, um, you were like a camera tracking behind a star destroyer. You know these huge triangular uh, space ships in Star Wars. And uh, you were getting closer and closer to it until you came into shadow of it. And then when you were in the shadow, it, you, you were like flying into one of the hangars of the spaceship. And it was such an overwhelming sense of scale, like suppression. Like it, it just this monumental thing over you. And then you were in, in its shadow and you just felt like suppressed like crazy and it was such a fantastic feeling of of scale and you were flying through it and you could look back and see other star destroyers as you were going into the hangar and uh yeah but the sense of scale was overwhelming it was amazing really really cool um and then um John Schirmer had the last talk at the same time as Cornelius Damrich. Uh, I listened in to Jonas. Uh, John Schirmer, if you don't know, is a illustrator for like uh, Blizzard, Overwatch, and so on, uh, and Riot. Um, she's a really skilled artist, uh, illustrator. She paints beautiful paintings. She's a splash artist for. Uh, riot so you, you know that she has the skills <laughs> by that fact alone um, she did a really good talk it was really funny to listen in on she w was making a lot of jokes um, uh, did I forget anything else I don't know it was really good fun to sit there and, and, and listen and and then, uh, of course, everyone was, um, uh, afterwards, everyone was drinking. Oh, yeah, day before, um, on Saturday night, they had done, like, a, a walkway <laughs> on the party. Like, every, you know, like, the dance-off uh, street. So, you, you people, like, did the catwalk. Oh, catwalk, there we go catwalk dance-off type thing and everyone was clapping and uh, laughing and uh, people showing off <laughs> it was so crazy I did not go on the catwalk <laughs> that's for sure I was joking with a guy like with uh, Henrik Rosenborg who's also a fellow Swede I was like why don't you go up and <laughs> he was like no and I was explaining to people like Swedes, we don't even talk on the bus, and you you can't get them up on on a dance floor. 
Captain Boss, yeah, man, you should come and and hang out and uh, and learn. Um. Anyway, so then the end of workshop, everyone was happy, everyone was drinking to the bitter end when the venue had to close its doors, and we all left. And a couple of us went for dinner. Uh, it was me, uh, Christian Chihaya, or whatever his name is, the art director at Ubisoft. Um, he was my plus one. Uh, I, I invited him, so he, he, he got to go there for, for free. Um, we went out for dinner, everyone. Um, there was me, the, the photographer, a uh, really skilled uh, 3D guy who works at Framestore, I think. Uh, Spiridon, the Firestarter guy, a woman, uh, she's a painter or a sculptor. Her name eludes my mind. Uh, Iris or Sarah, or I don't remember. Um, and me. Sick brush, yeah. Um, we were, went to this Indian restaurant. Uh, Christian went um, out to talk on the phone a lot. So we were all just kind of like, where's Christian? Everyone was sitting and talking and getting their food, but Christian was not. He was just outside talking on the phone with his girlfriend. You know, people were getting a little bit, you know, fed up with the fact that he's, you know, he's not at the table. He's just outside. So uh, I think Spiridon said, okay, let's, let's pay, pay, play a prank on him. Um, so, um, there was a guy, this Indian sculptor, he came from India. Sounds horrible, like reducing him to that, but, um, in order for me to tell the story, I need to make it easy, right? Anyway, so he said, oh, it's on me. I, I'll pay for everything. And fucking hero, he paid a uh, hundred pounds <laughs> for the table, um, which was really very kind of him. Uh, luckily, I just had a beer, so I didn't feel like too shitty about it. So, you know, cheers for the beer. Uh, and then Spirit on told the waiters, like, listen, we're going to play a prank on our friend outside. We are really annoyed. Uh, you know, we want to, you know, we want to prank him. And Spiridon said, we're going to run out of this restaurant. And would you mind, please, uh, like, run after us and be angry? We have already paid. Everything is paid for. So, so he doesn't need to pay, but we're going to make it look like he has to pay. So the waiter was like, yes, yes, of course, of course. Um, so we were like, okay, everyone is ready. Everyone was ready. The Christian was standing outside like blah, 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 blah. And just as he was finished coming in, we all started rushing out. And we ran past him, like patted him on the shoulder, like have fun paying or, or uh, like see you later. And we all started running away. And we said, you have to pay like thanks for the lunch or something to him and as we were running and he was so confused and the waiter came out screaming down the street like wait you have to pay you can't run away and then the other were like grabbed him by the shoulder dragged him into the restaurant the other waiter like this old guy the owner or something uh he was like you cannot um run away your, your friends haven't paid you have to pay now we will call the police and christian was like oh yeah yeah uh, taking up his credit card and uh, like super scared um and they were playing along so well these indian waiters and and they're uh, screaming at him and he was like sweating <laughs> and then everyone was standing outside laughing their asses off at christian sweating inside uh, the restaurant and then we all came in and uh, <laughs> was laughing at him and uh, he started laughing and everyone was happy <laughs> but it was so good like everyone just full-on ran out of the restaurant and he was so like what's what's happening and then angry waiters and <laughs> so funny yeah it was really good I had a really good laugh. Everyone was just standing there. 
trying to breathe while laughing and pointing at Christian. <laughs> but this was in the middle of the night, um, and the road wasn't uh, super busy, you know, like they were closing the restaurant street more or less. But also, we didn't care who what other people thought. You know, we we didn't bolt uh, far away. We ran away like two restaurants, like thirty meters, and then we went back. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like we. It was short-lived but funny joke. Yeah, but that's, I think that, that's uh, more or less the whole experience. Then I went back and the day after I went to the studio, hang out, hang out with the, the artists. Um, did some work, then flew back. And here we are. And everyone at the workshop got a, uh, yeah, I said that, free kit bash, 3D, uh, Procreate, stickers, our, uh, Firestarter magazine, um, yeah. But yeah, it was really good fun. And, and uh, boss, you should definitely, uh, if you are interested in it, you should go to the next one. It's usually just over a weekend, so it's not you. You you know like you can get away with not losing any day of of work, you know, or maybe on a Friday. <clears throat> but <clears throat> all in all, it's um, the they they get great talent to go and talk and show stuff. Uh, lots of people there, lots of recruiters who want good artists. Um, Yeah, it's, it's good fun. And uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this yesterday, but Jama was there doing um, VR sculpting, like in a booth at the recruitment table, and uh, doing multiplayer VR. So he was like modeling a character, uh, someone else was modeling the table uh, together at the same time in the same scene. It was crazy. So anyone uh, could sign up to a list and uh, you got like half an hour with with the Jama in the same scene, and he was sitting and uh, modeling it together with you. It was really cool. Hey, Ricky, 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 what up, yo? Yeah, it was really good fun. Jama, yeah, Jama Jurabaev, um, was really cool, like you could sit, uh, you know, he was mic'd up, uh, you were mic'd up, so you could talk really clearly with each other, um, and you could uh, work on the exact same scene as him, you could either, you know, if you wanted to, uh, invade whatever he was modeling on, but what what happened was that a lot of people just chose another section or created a new character uh, besides whatever Jabba was doing, and it became this really cool collaboration of building a scene together. Um, Amir, yeah, it was really cool, and of course you could all stand around and look. Uh, on the TVs, and you could see both of them. There was, I think, there were three people maximum. Uh, but Jama said that they have tried with twelve. That you, have, you, they've been twelve people at the same time uh, working on a single scene. It's crazy. If Jama is Russian, no, Jama Jumarabe. J Jairabev <laughs> is a Kazakhstanian, I think. But he lives in London now. He's art director at uh, 
Lucas uh, Lucas Films in London. But he is also a VR um, VR pioneer pioneer. So he does um, he he's a VR proponent. Um, he does some crazy things in VR. And he uh, has a very successful Patreon, um, you know, which allows him to almost go full time if he wants to, uh, on um, on the VR front, like full on experiments, which is which is maybe what the industry needs. A tech guy dedicated to push the boundaries. Tajikistan? Maybe. I don't know really where, where Jama comes from originally, but he comes from somewhere over there. And for those who don't know really what JAMA does, um, this is some of his work. So he does a lot of like 3D. I, this is a fully VR scene. Uh, so what he did was he kind of set up a VR, or was it Photoshop 3D? Um, on planes and he then panned around uh, took screenshots um, created mood um, painted a little bit more so he created this kind of fantastic scene um, yeah he, no he did it in VR this is your gravity sketch octane render post and paint over in Photoshop it's just amazing. So if you want to be have your mind blown, go check Jam out. Uh, he's insane. He's a crazy, crazy artist. All right. <laughs> Here's my take on uh, Sunbird. Oh wait, did Ixi subscribe as well? No. Hm. It says down there. Maybe it has stopped it. Uh, well, th have a fantastic Friday, everybody. Have a great day. Good night. If you're in that end of the world, let's um, let's see who we can raid. Do you guys have any suggestion who we can attack? I don't want to do visual Jamie again because I did that yesterday, and she's still doing the same thing. Um, Tim Remmers, maybe. What's he doing? He's doing ZBrush sculpting. Is that something you guys are interested in? Uh, what's so much monsters doing? Uh, textures. That might be cool. And he also listens to great music. Let's raid so much monsters. He's a fantastic guy. And usually have killer playlist. Um... All right, it was a great day yesterday. Uh, I helped out on a conference, like I said. Um, have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you guys on Monday. I might uh, stream over the weekend, we'll see. But um, otherwise, see you guys Monday. Have a great one, everyone. Much love.